culture was. Right. So even in teaching me and learning like that, he learned like people would come to him and he'd make more money putting Gucci on his oh, stuff. Shoot. Yeah. Cause that's what we were doing we, back then. That we were the first people doing the Gucci Air Force Ones. Like we put we, them in uh, Jadakiss video. Yeah, the Jadakiss right? knock yourself out video. We did we did his joints. Um, we man, we were doing stuff for Dapper Dan too. Yeah. Like Dapper Dan would send us the shoes to match the stuff for the dudes he was probably making suits for. But we were doing stuff like the the custom shoes. Um, for a lot of people in New York, even it would be other people from Harlem that would come to us and be like, "Yeah, I want you to do these Air Force Ones." Mm -hmm. But those dudes would be acting as like a stylist for somebody else, yeah. and then we find out when we see the stuff worn on rap videos, we like, "Yo, those are the Tims we did." Is that how Cormega ended up with him? Or yeah, did so, he buy him direct? No, Cormega came. At, Cormega came to my house. So for Cormega's video, um, "Get Out My Way" was like a diss song to Nas. Right. He came to my house, and we, I sat there. He came to my house like at 10 o'clock at night and he didn't leave till 4 or 5 in the morning because I was still sewing his outfit and his, sh wow. and his boots because the video was that next day. Wow. So he literally sat in my house and, and talked to me while I was making his outfit and his shoes for his video. That's crazy that you even say because just even thinking about both guys on both sides of the, uh, that project, right? You're making his outfit. Mm -hmm. He's waiting on it. What rapper you know gonna wait for their outfit? Like, you know what I'm saying? No. They don't even care that much. Like, it's not that. Yeah. It was serious at that time. No facts. And uh, yeah. And when I, I he found out through us through my uh, my homie, I was because I was doing it with my other homie Ar Ryan, and God rest his soul. He just he died two years ago. But uh, he brought Cormega to us like, and he was like, yeah, this is my you know this is my guy who mm -hmm. teaches me how to do it. And we he made that connection. You know what I'm saying? So um. I think he knew his. I think uh, Ryan was friends with Cormega's younger brother. Okay. So he was like, you know, he was comfortable. Like, you know, he was knew it was a good environment. So he was cool with, you know, coming to the house and just bobbing with us while I made his shit. But like, he saw the talent. He knew he wanted. That's what New York New Yorkers is like. There, you know, we want what nobody else got. What we used to. Mm -hmm. Everybody now is everybody is mannequins. Same. They yeah, all dress yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. You know everybody what I'm saying? The they, these, we call them niggas mannequins, yeah, right? Yeah. So they just mannequins now. But back then. Dudes was one at one at one up. So Jada had the Air Force Ones. Cormega was like, I want the Tims. The Tims. So we did the Gucci Tims. Mm. That was mean right there. Like mm -hmm. so and and from there it turned it out because you did Foxy, Kim. Fo yep, we did Foxy, Kim. Cause we were doing clothes too. We did yeah. um uh Joe Button's manager at the time. Um damn, what was his name? Webb? Webb. Yeah, yeah, Webb. Webb, we did his one of his wheelchairs. I'm not sure if it was Webb. But uh, he he he's he's in the wheelchair, so we took his whole wheelchair and, and did his whole wheelchair reupholstered in Gucci. Damn! So that this was is hard. back in that area. Everybody doing C, start Jada with the swoosh. Mm -hmm. Then Cormega want the Tims, and this nigga say, "Yo, fuck it, you, I want the wheelchair." You know wheelchair. what's so crazy? It, nobody had like <clears throat> the access to because. You can't find a young dude sewing and doing shit like that back then. So everybody wanted to mimic it. You know how the hood is. Once mm -hmm. the video come out, like, how do we get these? So right. it turned into a situation where it became us going to, like, um, Asian people at stores mm -hmm. or and just getting glue. Yep. Like glue straight glue. On. No, no sewing, no nothing. It's I remember just, that. I seen, I, I, man, when we started that, when we started doing the Gucci, I remember when we started seeing everybody else doing mm -hmm. it, right? And they just gluing it on, and then the the fabric is fraying apart because they never sealed up the fabric. That's why you can't right. just glue fabric on right. stuff unless it's like leather. Yeah. But if it's a cloth, it's going to deteriorate, you know. And that's what we had um uh, from out here, mob figures. We had a homie from mob figures out here, um hustler, hustler, yeah. hustler flew out to New York because mm -hmm. I had owned the barbershop at the time. So they would drop their shoes off when I closed the barbershop. I start making the shoes. Yeah, right. So 